beautiful deep purple um, lilies, love them. Welcome to Sunday, to the Sunday shave, even a fly, don't you annoy me, thank you. Uh, how's the week gone? How are you doing? And yourself, alright? Um, okay, relaxing shave today, I'm going to use a razor, I don't think I've used it for a while, it's the Merca 34C, very standard, short handle, you twist the bottom here, and inside I've got a brand new Persona double-edged med prep blade, um, which comes in a box like that. They're used in hospitals. I'll just, I will show you this, um, if it'll show on camera. On the bottom, on the bottom it should say, for hospital use. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. Non-adjustable, very slight overhang, um, so that's that. A shaving cream, not used for a while, Omega Crema de Barba shaving cream, eucalyptus, eucalypto. So I'm going to try a bit of that. Um, the Paul H Films brush, which is in that, this is the cashmere synthetic. These have sold out now. Um, I may have said, but you can still buy that brush, but it won't have the name. Not that it may bother some. So I'm going to wet the face. Oh, sorry. Do we need any? No, I don't need that. Yeah, so good week, hopefully. Good shaves, that's the main thing. So I just put a blob in the bottom of my bowl and straight away need a bit more water. Yeah, eucalyptus, nice. I used this for a while. And again, another cream I've had for many years. People ask about that, what's the sort of longevity of a cream or a soap? Well, I've had lots of creams for years, um, way out of their date, but they're okay. I find, personally, that's good enough. What do you reckon? You haven't had a special shave today? Going anywhere nice? weekend nice scent this eucalyptus I've got the balm to match it forget bought them yes yeah, a few years ago Wow, that's the nicest scent than I remember. Eucalyptus, I like um, eucalyptus and another scent, just warming the razor. Another scent I enjoy is um, uh, aloe vera. Aloe vera, yeah. here we go. Oh, don't stand out there, meowing. Come in. They'd love to see you. That's a hello, that for you lot. That is. <laughs> this is a beautiful blade.
well let's face it, it should be it should be a good one because uh, the job it has to done or it was the job it was made for oh. Yeah, nice relaxing shave this. That cream, I keep saying it's slightly better than I thought, and it's nice and slick. That's very nice. That's all you can ask, can it? Yeah, it's uh, it's sharp and it's smooth, clean cut, beautiful. That's nice. Feels very slick, actually. So, what are you up to? I've asked you that. What are you up to? You going out? You staying in? You working? Thanks for your service. number two or application number two mm. <laughs> wow didn't put a lot of cream in that bowl but wow doesn't have delivered that that's beautiful We're on the second pass, you've had Pavarotti and everything. Here we go, second pass across the growth. Merca 34C. A very standard razor for me. This is the short handle. Very manoeuvrable. I'm impressed. Right, what's on the old menu in this house? Well, today it's roast pork joint, which is uh, ready salted. Its intention is a crackling joint. Those words in my mind are superb, crackling. And there'll be lashentos of it, plenty of it. with um, fine green beans with some tenderized broccoli, tender stems they're called, tender stems broccoli. Uh, Welsh potatoes, all steamed of course. Mm. And uh, lashentos of gravy, thank you. Put the oven on its highest, put the joint in room temperature, add more salt if you need it. 20 minutes on highest temperature, bring it down then to the cooking temperature. Cook the joint and then about 20 minutes before the end of the cooking up to the top temperature again. Crackling of perfection that is. And if I can I take it off in a sheet, slice the pork, have it with a meal and then in and devour the crackling later on with a couple of ciders or whatever I've got. I've got scrumpy jack. And uh, and plenty of lager. Beautiful. Just the other day, I got some Gordon's gin. And we had some tonic water. And I thought, I'll have a gin in town. I've had that for years. And I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, Gordon's gin. Right, after all that, we rinse. It's a nice, very slick, very slick cream. Yeah, so no bells and whistles in this one. 
just shaving for the pure love of it. It's a weekend. I'm amongst friends. And many thanks to all the people who are members who contribute on the Paul's Wetheads um, via comments, their shave of the days, their photographs, and their fun and love of this hobby. Many thanks and welcome to new members. Um, links are in the description of the video if you want to take a look at the group or join. And, uh, Mrs H is um, the active one on there and very big thanks to her as well. Quite warm here today. Right, third pass against the old growth. Very nice. There's a fly here somewhere. I don't know if it's coming across the camera. Then. Trying to put me off here. We started the day with a coffee, tea, uh, Lots of shave today for you. And then, nice. And then you. That is absolutely outstanding blade in that particular razor. Anyway. Mind you, it's always been good. Most of the blades I use are nice, but uh, someone did ask in the on Facebook, I think it was, what you, if you could use one blade for life, what would it be? Wilkinson sword for me. And if I could, the uh, British made ones because they were so smooth. Oh, just amazing. Just anyway, never mind that. Vintage, <laughs> vintage blades or not. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. <laughs> Pick up time. Are you out for lunch? Are you cooking lunch? Are you like me? You enjoy a bit of, bit of, um, bit of cooking time, baby.
I'm so quiet. <laughs> I'd be thinking, yeah, it's a nice change, mate. Carry it on. It's because uh, I'm enjoying. I'm in the moment. Oh, slickness is wonderful. I mean, this it's not a. It's a good cream. Lovely scent. It's better than I remembered. And slickness is. So it's nice when that happens sometimes. You expect a nice shave. Relaxing shave. And then the products. You think, well. Here. That's pickup time. Big time. That's stunning. Cold water rinse now. Freshen up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I love these. Uh... <laughs> And then, medicated super hazel. We're going down there. I'm using some bay rum. If you remember last time I said, oh, fancy a bay rum. So this is a medicated. This is a clovey scent. And again, a clove, <laughs> you either love it, bay rum, clove, that type of stuff. Yeah, they love it. Yeah, or maybe not. now and again you don't mind it, but some may hate it. I'm going to use Benjamin's Bay Rum Mentholated. So, uh, I haven't decanted this. So, oh, nice. Yeah. And, oh, nice and cool. Yep. <laughs> and then, oh, well, you've seen this one, haven't you? This is the Omega um, Aftershave Balm. Eucalyptus. That'll do. There we go. And what a start to Sunday. If you're having a shave today, I hope it's a good one. I hope you enjoy it. If you've had a shave, if you join me, if you film in a shave, if you do whatever. I hope you have a great shave and a great day. So that's it. So, Merca. Not future, no. Merca. <laughs> Why was I going to say that? Nothing like it. Merca 34C with a Persona Med Prep brand new blade. Beautiful. Very nice. Paul H Films Cashmere Synthetic Knot, lovely brush, my own bowl, um, Omega Eucalyptus Shaving Cream, beautiful stuff, nice scent, good lather, very slick, and the slickness and the scent were better than what I remembered. Um, rinsed with Welsh cold water, Thayer's Medicated Super Hazel, Benjamin's Bay Rum Aftershave, mentholated, so it's a nice cooling effect, especially now. Whew. Nice, not strong, but it's nice. Well, not to me anyway. Aftershave, what's that? Aftershave Balm, Eucalyptus by Omega. Very nice, and that's the uh, result. I've said this many times, and I'll continue to say it. It won't make you good looking, but it'll make you feel <laughs> damn good. So that is it. Leave you to it. Have a great Sunday and a good start to next week. Stay safe, happy and have some good shaves. And regards to you and your families. Many thanks. All the best and I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.